Hey guys, it's Richard from Grafting Dragon Fruits. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my indoor dragon fruit growth setup. And what it is, is just a shelving that I bought and put only two shelving on top. And as you can see on the top of it is my grow light. It's a T5 power lighting grow light, which is just fluorescent lights. And today I'm going to be showing you guys the progress it has been making during the winter. To show you guys how the progress makes so you guys know what to expect. So here are some dragon fruit seedlings and they've been sitting under this grow light ever since they've hatched from seeds. These are the Asunta 6 and as you can see they are doing so well. They are so cute. These are some Robles red dragon fruit seedlings and behind me here are the Pelora seedlings. So for seedlings they do pretty well in this type of lighting that I have here. And they've been indoor this whole winter time and it's fe almost February so the weather is starting to pick up so they are about ready to come back outside okay some progress on the seeds here are some progress on my graphs this is the Ecuador Polar V graph here's the grafting joint and this is how much growth it has made in this grow light so as you can see they do grow but the growth isn't as girthy as what it would be like when they are outside. About here was where they started making growth from this grow light I have. But as you can see, the growth is very small, or not small, but very skinny and lengthy. And this is the result from a grow light. So once I take this out back outside, they should get thick and girthy again because in here it doesn't provide enough UV rays to have it grow properly. So this is what it will turn into, the length or width it will be once we take it outside. But that's the type of growth you kind of get once you kind of just leave it inside under a grow light. So if you want to protect a dragon fruit and take it indoor for the winter time, you definitely can. But you can expect the same type of growth that it will get once you have them outside. So just do it as a preventative care for the winter time. And once it starts to get warmer outside, you can go ahead and take them back out. Here is a another cutting so this is a Pelora Ecuador cutting straight from Ecuador you can see it's pretty beat up but the same thing I brought it in here when it had a shoot about this big and the month or two that's been in here this is how much growth is made but as you can see the growth is very skinny lengthy not as girthy but again once we take it outside it's gonna just blow up so you know it's doing well it's just it really wants to grow so once it gets what it wants it's gonna start growing rapidly here is another graph this is the proven yellow when i had it in here it was about this big like a little shoot here so for some reason the proven yellow is doing very well under this lighting maybe it is because it likes the low temperature and it's pretty warm in here in my garage so yeah and Another cutting that I've tested out to see if it would sprout new growth under a grow light, and it absolutely does. So I brought this in here, a little tiny branch. This is the Sunta 5, and here we have a new shoot. So you see it's growing right there. So you definitely can um, develop new growth under this light as well. And here is Desert King. So Desert King started in here as a little shoot as well. It just popped out there. I was worried that it wasn't going to make it through the winter. And look, this grow light has developed this shoot very well. And once I take it outside, you know it's just going to grow very fast. So that is my little indoor dragon fruit grow setup that I'm sharing with you guys. And if you ever stumble upon a very bad and cold winter, this is a great way to save your dragon fruit plants cuttings that you've just started are very young and also if you want to grow seedlings they do very well under these grow lights as you can see from mine look how great and happy these guys look and I would be putting all of the details of what light I use and uh, what kind of brand I use so you guys know um, it's agro bright and it's just fluorescent grow lights and here are the stats it's a T5 Agro Bright Light. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you guys have any questions about these dragon fruits under this grow light, go ahead and leave in the comment section. I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. 
And if you guys want to see more dragon fruit and grafting videos of mine, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that way you guys won't miss a single thing. Have a wonderful day now. Bye guys.